All right, YouTube, got another quick one for you today. This is our Kegel Lane machine. I'm gonna show you how to turn it on to clean and oil a lane. I've already done the rest of them. We're gonna do this one real quick to show you how it works. So we're gonna twist that so that it is up <clears throat> and you're gonna hold this button in. You see that light turn on. The screen will come on and it'll boot up. Tap that. So you go to start lane right here. Start lane. And then this is the type of oil pattern that it's going to put out. So you could change the pattern. We have all kinds of different shots that we use. Um, we use Dr. Beaker short on a few. Um, with this league, they are going to be using shot 30. Shot 20 would be our <clears throat> elderly and general shot. Um, doesn't put a lot of oil out on the lane, so you don't have to clean balls and they don't get stuck in the back. So you go to start lane here. Dr. Beaker special, so we're right. We'll go to the end lane, so that's the first lane. End lane. I only have to do one lane, so I'm just going to bring this number down to one. We will go to start the machine, and it's asking me if everything's correct here, um, and it is. So we'll hit yes, and now it is ready to go. Um, <clears throat> we will press the button on the handle, and the machine just primed itself and lowered its squeegee. You'll push it into the lane. And then press the button again. Let the handle go down. It's a little stuck. You heard that stuck sound. I just touched the bar. And the machine will start running. Alright, and I'll show you the cleanup whenever it comes back. Alright guys, so the machine's coming back now. It's putting the oil out. Things to know while it's coming back, the lane must be shut off whenever you are sending the lane machine down to oil the lanes, otherwise the sweep can come down behind it and knock the machine back into the pit. And that is a disaster. The machine's very heavy to pull out and then you gotta go over everything and make sure you didn't damage anything. She is about back here. It'll stop. There we go. All right. So we will open up this compartment right here. There's a little latch over there. I'm gonna just grab this and pry it open. These lights will show you. This is the lane cleaner, and I do need to add some. And then this is the oil, which I'll probably wait till next time to add more. So I'm gonna add cleaner to it. You are gonna do that on the lane. And then you'll also empty the containment compartment. All right, so we filled the cleaner and the oil if it needed to be done. You want to do this while the machine is over top of the lane. You do not want to bring it over the approach. If you spill oil on the approach, the wood will soak it up and make it a very slick surface. Definitely not something you want on the approach. So we will shut it off, press the button in, pull the cover down, and pull the machine out of the lane. And then these two latches come up. Top flips open. And that container gets separated right here and right here. And then you just empty this from the empty side. And that's it. Put it back in and take the machine to the back and plug it back in so it's charging. Make sure you clean the duster liner and the cleaning brush in the back there. I'll show you that procedure too in the back. Alright guys, so we're in the back now. <clears throat> we are going to hook the Kegel machine up for charging. There is a specific way you do want to do this process while the unit is unplugged from the socket. You want to plug in to the Kegel machine. This light will blink. You want to let it finish blinking and then it will turn solid. Once it turns solid, you're safe to plug it in. If you plug in before that, you can short out the computer system in the Kegel machine. So you don't want to do that. <clears throat> then once that's complete, you're going to grab an air compressor or vacuum or whatever your 
lane your bowling alley has, excuse me. And you want to blow off this duster liner here. You want to blow off that squeegee and you want to blow off that brush on both sides. And that's just making your duster liner last a little longer. Getting particular squeegee. YouTube. So that's how you uh, run and clean a Kegel machine. That's general operation. I'll do another video on a little bit more in-depth stuff about that machine, but that's day-to-day -day operation.